<laughs> maybe, maybe you should start it. Guys, you don't want to start it. <laughs> you start it. Hello, my beautiful hey. people. I haven't heard that in so long. <laughs> I know. Welcome back to Bodies and Kelly. And if you're new here and don't know this, just like more than half of you guys, I'm pregnant. And obviously, I'm in labor and delivery. So, guys, I'm, I'm in pain. We completely skipped that, Tina. That's how you know you're in pain. I told you, you need to do it. Her name's Tina, and my name is Bodhi. And I'm in pain. She's in pain, guys. So, here we are. We are here. Guys, I'm getting another one. She's having another contraction. She's been having them since 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's almost, it's what, 8.20 and at night. 8.20 at night. Right now, we're in, we don't know if we're going to get admitted. We're in triage right now. What did they just tell you, though? But they checked my cervix, and I'm five centimeters. Hello. Dilated. Okay, guys, so... As Before you see, we were really interrupted. Yeah. So they checked me. I'm five centimeters dilated. And she said I'm really, really thinned out, right? Yep. Um, the doctor just came in. That's who came in. And she just told us we're getting admitted. Yay. So I guess it's baby time. <laughs> I want to say yeah. <laughs> right now we're waiting to be um, changed out of triage into our regular room that's down the hallway somewhere I don't know but so far so good you guys we got stories to tell you I'll tell you right now so we have a little psychic as a child oh lord <laughs> before I found out I was pregnant Ellie told me I, I was pregnant but because I was miscarrying at the time. I told her no. I thought it was just the baby I miscarried. She goes, baby, baby, pointing at my belly. And I'm just like, I thought it was just baby um, that I miscarried. And I said, no, there's no baby. But two, three weeks later after the miscarriage, I found out I was pregnant. Then around 12 weeks, she's been saying it's a boy. She goes, boy, boy, right? Remember? Yeah. Boy, boy. She got pointing at my stomach. Two weeks later, we found out it's a boy. Now, I want to say, when was it? Last weekend? It was last yeah, week? last weekend. Yeah. So last weekend, um, I was having horrible contractions. I've been dealing with these contractions for the past three weeks. And um, she... She gets on top of me and she kisses my belly and she tells me he's coming. And me, being a smart ass, I asked her, when is he coming? I'm desperate. When is he coming? <laughs> and she tells me it's Monday. Monday. That's all she said. Monday. Monday comes around. I said, Ellie, you lied. <laughs> it's not Monday. She didn't tell me what Monday. You guys, it's about to be nine o'clock on Sunday. This baby's coming tomorrow, Monday. Bro. So yeah, we got we got a little witch, and not to mention she is one too. Not to mention her mom is one too. <laughs> You're gonna make these people think I'm crazy. I know, right? <laughs> We're gonna get a whole lot of unsubscribers. <laughs> oh man! Right now, you guys, we're just waiting. Playing the waiting game right now. Letting it just take. This course. Yeah. To be honest, I just want some Pitocin and get get it going. Break my water. I'm ready. Cause you already know what when that happens. Yeah. Things just. You guys, when they break speed my up. water. When they break my water, I legit give birth an hour later. I literally zero to a hundred real quick. Seriously. So I need them to break my water. Let's go. Mm-hmm. And don't mind the shakiness. I think he's getting tired. My arm right now cannot tolerate this. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we're gonna try to record as much as we can um we're not we're not allowed to record nurses or doctors or any of that so we don't know if we're actually gonna record the whole labor part um and on top of that when you're in the zone you guys the last thing you think about is picking up the phone to record setting it up i don't know how these people do it but when it's time to push last thing i think about is ooh, recording oh you have another one yeah and not only that like i feel like that's your intimate time you know with your partner yeah something you share by yourself yeah so we're, we're gonna try i'm not gonna say Yes, I'm not going to say no, so stay tuned for the couple clips. Maybe this labor is quick. Maybe it's not. Let's hope it's quick. <laughs> right? Oh, I hope so. I won't see them pain, you guys. Yeah, go show them. All right, let me show you guys. Imagine what? fixed. The camera was all good to begin with. Are you having another one? Oh, uh, so like a little mountain. A little squiggly line. Unless that was from you moving. Out. You get him with them? Yeah. Yeah, it's going up. Just having another contraction, guys. Look at that mountain right there. If that's not, I just want to throw That's him moving? That's him moving. <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. You guys, I feel like I'm getting played with this machine though. Because it only measures the ones that get on my stomach. But the one I get in my pelvis gives me no credit. <laughs> which is stronger, right? Which is worse. Yo, so, so. so I went back down? Yeah. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> he's trying to swim down. Oh I'm telling you, he's coming soon. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, guys. We made it to the other room where she will be giving birth. It's probably having another another contraction. Just a tad. Just a tad? I don't know. It sounds more than a tad. They are preparing. Just a little a little view of our room. Oh, don't mind all that. It's my section right there. Oh, a little, little diaper. It's a bad little. The bathroom in here. Dark. That's pretty dark. Where's the light switch? There's no light switch. Wait, outside? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, there you go. Look, there's even a shower. Guys, this is way better than where we gave birth to um, Lele. 
because, you know, she had to share the shower, which is pretty trifling. It sounds like lockup. It sounds like jail. Not good at all. This one, all by herself. It's ours for the time being. Oh, mama's is in pain. Try to go all the way through and have an unmedicated labor. <laughs> you oh, are way. one strong person. By the way, we were already told we cannot record. Yeah. Any procedures or um, the actual labor part, but yeah, I don't want to see my koha anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> are my baby all bloody? That's not cute. <laughs> that really ain't. But yeah. <coughs> I'm just seeing hills over you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, listen, he got the hiccups. Oh, that's that noise? Yeah. I wonder if you guys can see it. Oh, I see. I see it from here. You see it? Mm-mm. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, see that? He got the hiccups. <laughs> I'm over here trying to hold my breath so you guys don't hear me. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. Oh, that's a good one. I hate that. One. I know. Look, at, look how comfortable he is over there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Don't the time. It's 11. No, it's 11.15. He got his. Damn, it's already. There. It's 11 already? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Time flies. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be in here. You guys, that's scary over there. What like what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I got the whole lamp in front of me. Like, Pretty intimidating, huh? Yeah, what is that? Hmm. I don't know. Well we'll be back shortly. This thing right now does not make no sense at all. What? The lines of the contractions and shit. Oh. I don't know. No, see, you over here saying I want to take a nap. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, there's other shit. Yeah, there's other other shit. Other I'm hungry. Tell your mom bring rice and beans and shit, and I can't even eat. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, he but on the bright side, he's freezing his ass. I am. It's cool. I think that thing said it was I sixty-three. I should be used to it, cause I'm from the East Coast, but I am not. I'm <laughs> freezing my behind. Mm, I'm getting one. All right. Catch us soon. Okay, then we got mama, mama bear here. Right? Yeah, okay, he, well. He probably showed me what's my fat. You guys all hear this, right, in the background? I pressed record a long time ago. <laughs> so, my mom is here. Currently still going through. As you can see, look at my hills. Wait, right here. So, they just checked me about five minutes ago. I am six centimeters. Still no epidural, no medicine, no nothing, you guys. I ain't got shit. Just a bag of water. I'm ready for them to pop my water, honestly. I'm getting desperate. And look at them over there. <laughs> We're look, all over here cuddled up. Y'all look cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> okay. It was worse 
it was worse earlier, right? Yeah, it was 63 in here. 63 in here. And I put it to 69. Yeah. So, that's the update. <laughs> um, she said that, what was my water? Wiggly. Mm -hmm. Wiggly. My water's wiggly. Oh, yeah. you know what that means. Please comment down below what the hell does a watery, a wiggly mm -hmm. water <laughs> mean? Because we're talking about the doctor coming in to break my water. It's still not broken. I'm just dilated to six. And she said, oh, yeah, your water's wiggly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going crazy back there. What happened? I don't know what happened. Water's wiggly. Maybe I moved. No, I am getting one currently. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, that no, that's the baby's heart rate. Oh, he's moving, that's why. But um yeah, my water's wiggly. I have no idea what a what watery oh I can't talk, my contraction's coming back. Um Um Wiggly water is if you guys know what the hell that means, can you guys comment that below? Because I feel like this is my first time I'm giving birth. I never heard of some shit like that. This is my fourth one. Wiggly water. <laughs> All right, guys. Quick update. She's got the Pitocin going now. And it's tripping little by little. But she's going to keep coming in. To make it go faster and then, oh yeah. Oh, and I got the little peanut. She got a little baby peanut. It's in there. <laughs> you could kind of see it. <laughs> Laying there all comfortable, trying to make her take a little nap in before the big bang. See the contraction. I'm gonna turn it. Move it. No. And it is not. You got anything to say? So apparently I got the peanut ball, not because I'm not dilating, but because it may be comfortable for me since maybe the baby turned sunny side up, meaning that his face is up instead of down. And it's more painful towards my back. So I have the peanut between my legs and, that's and a tough. wedge in my back. Yeah. And didn't she say that's to like help open up, open up. so the baby mm, yep. keep coming down? Yeah. So it does a lot of different functions, you guys. Yeah. This is the first time I ever see a peanut. Yeah, same here. It's cute. <laughs> it looks like a little minion. I know. <laughs> I wish I could show y'all, but y'all can't go down there. Yeah, no. They could kind of see like the little figure. For real? <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. But yeah, guys, that's the quick update. Update. So they checked me about 15 minutes ago, probably. It's 6.05 right now. I'm currently at 5 on the Pitocin. Um, so they checked me, kind of highly disappointed. This baby does not want to come out. Why? Because I went from 6 centimeters to 4 how i have no idea i don't know how she measured i don't i have no idea but the contractions are getting worse but the baby's head is really high apparently even though my stomach is like down to the floor i don't get it i don't get life right now you get it i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it but there it is they're still coming I'm still hanging, no medicine yet, just this. Hi guys, 
Oh, so right now they checked me again and I'm back to five centimeters. Baby is still high. <laughs> she mentioned this might be my biggest baby. You guys, I'm terrified. I don't know what that means. My biggest baby was seven six, it was Lele. But um we don't know. We don't know if he's coming down crooked. We don't know if he's coming up sunny side up. My back is horrible. Um I'm now at a I think nine. Um, they keep raising up the Pitocin. They're changing doctors right now. So they're supposed to check me to see if they're going to break my water or not. Since he is high. But the nurses are like, maybe they should because he is high. And the breaking the water will drop him down. But uh, I am so tired. Labor started at um, 2.22 in the morning. It's already 9.00. Nine something, I don't know, nine twelve maybe. So we've been at it for what? I can't do math, you guys. Almost seven hours maybe. I don't know. I look swollen. I'm having contractions back to back. Um, I'm still trying to hang in there, but it's getting way stronger. And I don't know if I can. But I'm at five, still holding strong. I got this thing. It's going off every 30 minutes, which honestly, I feel like this for here is the worst part. Of, one of the worst parts of labor because, bro, it causes contractions. And then right when your contractions start, this starts and it squeezes the life out of your arm. It's just bad. My mom left. Um, she got a lot of running around to do. She's taking my son to school and whatnot. Um... Jose wants to go get some breakfast because I told him it's 9 o'clock, you know. You should go before breakfast gets sold out. I ate some jello. So that was my breakfast. I'm about to show you guys my breakfast. Well, maybe when he comes because I can't get the tray. I think I had jello. It was cherry jello. I had an option of cherry jello, apple juice, and some broth. Ooh, that, that sounds amazing, don't it? But I ate the jello and I got nauseous. So, Mama's is not eating. <laughs> anyway, I'll check back with you guys whenever the doctor comes and checks me because I am currently about to have, oh, another currently having another contraction right now it's not easy you guys but I'm hanging there all right see you guys soon I forgot to mention one thing um, the reason why I'm getting a lot of back pain and Oh, my hips are really hurting and it may be the reason why he's still high. They believe that the baby's actually coming down. Instead of going straight like this, he might be coming out like this. He's coming up crooked. Um, so they might have to reposition him. And he, he might be a sunny side up baby. If you don't know what a sunny side up baby, it just means that they're facing up instead of down. So it prolongs the labor. Um, because the baby's actually supposed to be facing down, not up. So that's probably what's going on here. And if it's still going out like this, it might break my water and position him to be straight to go down. So I'm just like, oh my God, you guys, can this be over? <laughs> like, can I meet my son already? Mm. <sighs> Update. They broke my water. <laughs> Doctor was like, oh, it's a lot of water. <laughs> it's a lot of water because the water started going to him. He sat on the bed to break the water. That shit was priceless, but it just kept coming out. Contractions, you guys, are at a thousand. Extremely close apart. Someone is getting out. He's finally back. Um, yeah, we're getting this ball rolling. It's terrible. Now I feel like, why can't I get the epidural? But I still can't get it. You're blocking the sunlight. Oh, cool. Got a whole yeah. patch over here. So I'm like, why can't I get the epidural? But I can't get the epidural, you guys. Um, I don't keep doing it. But right now, it's go time.
Okay, guys, labor is over. Guess who's here? Mm. You can barely see him. We're still in the labor de and delivery room because there's no rooms available yet. But, boy, they're completely natural. No medication, no nothing. They broke my water around um, 9.30. And at 10 away, it was time to push. You guys, it was 38 minutes. That was it. And I was still at five centimeters. So from five to 10, 38 minutes. And it was crazy. So that's why we are finally putting it on. And then my bleeding was acting a little weird, but now it looks better. Um, I have, what What did they give me? Percocet? Percocet, yeah. Percocet, so I'm a little, <laughs> a little jolly right now. But. Here he is. That's the baby. There he is. Can't believe it. So he weighs seven pounds, ten ounces, and twenty-one inches. This is my biggest baby and my longest one. Hey, you guys, they try to make me stop pushing because I kept pushing. I started pushing around like six centimeters. Was it? Yeah, right? My body naturally started pushing. Yeah. And, um, I couldn't stop. So. Guys, it was crazy. So, this yeah. girl. You grab it. So, she laid on her side because, you know, of course, she was trying to get into a good position to push. And, um,. Next thing you know, I look over and the baby's head is out. <laughs> it is out. And then all of a sudden, she kept pushing. The doctors all came in. They swarm in here. And now they the only, baby's here. They only had time to um, give the doctor one glove. Oh, yeah. They only gave him one glove because of how quick everything went. They couldn't break my bed. Oh, I'm so drowsy. They they couldn't break my bed. Um, he had one glove. <laughs> almost didn't make it. You was on your side. It was. <laughs> yeah, I was on my side to the point it looked like I was gonna fall there. And I looked at the nurse. She tried to make me stop pushing. I couldn't stop. I told her it's big. It's big. <laughs> it's <good>. coming out. <laughs> I didn't know if it was his head or if I really had to go to the, to the bathroom and do number two. Cause that's how it feels like. It feels like you're going number two. So. What a crazy story. It's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs>